What is up guys, it's Wolfie here and welcome back to the channel. As this is my Christmas special, I didn't want it to only be some fun content for you, but also a thank you for all the support since I started making content on YouTube. I've been producing videos for you guys since July of this year, and we have smashed every personal goal I had so far for the channel, and I only have you guys to thank for that. The main goal I had for the channel was 25 subs by the end of the year, it might seem small but I didn't think we'd get anywhere close to it, and at the time of recording we were on 60. You guys are actually the best, um, and I might not have continued to make content without your support. After you helped me reach that, I really wanted to make sure you were all enjoying the content, so I put out my next goal, which was 100 hours of watch time, and I thought, if you guys were sticking around and we hit that goal, then you must be enjoying what I'm putting out for you. Now, I didn't know when we would hit this, and honestly, I thought it would be in the new year, but you guys again pulled through, and this month we hit that goal, and it continues to climb. So I just want to wish you all a happy Christmas and a big thank you for all the support on the channel. I probably won't be making a New Year's video or many call outs like this in the future, but I hope we all have a better year next year. It's been a really weird one, but stay healthy and stay safe and let's get back to that content you guys are actually here for. So we are back in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator and it's so close to Christmas with the plan to hopefully upload this one on Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas everyone, and if you guys are watching this on release day, you are actually the best. So if you comment down below with Merry Christmas, I can personally thank you myself. Now, to get into the Christmas spirit and tabs, there is no better character to create than Darth Vader. Okay, no, we, we aren't doing that, but maybe in the future, I'd love to do a Star Wars theme. Uh, so tabs devs, if you ever see this video, lightsabers? Yeah, cool, thanks. Every other gun, just no lightsabers. Okay, now seriously, we are going to look at making Father Christmas. Not the green one, even though he is the original, but the rip-off red one that everyone now knows. Damn, that was uh, some really good marketing on their point. Anyway, as always, I have already made some additional units before recording, so I'll show you them later, but let's start off with Santa. Now before I begin with Santa, don't forget to drop a like on the video, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the videos in the new year. So to begin with, let's start off with his voice, uh, because Santa, he, he definitely needs to have a pretty strong voice. I'm thinking maybe like the knight or something along those lines. Let's see if we can just add in, yeah, maybe the king actually. Let, let's go with the king. I think that probably works for him. And in terms of the unit himself, I'm probably not going to change him much. I might make him a little bit taller when it comes to the stats. But other than that, I'm going to keep him pretty standard in terms of the wobbler. So, special effects, special abilities. I'm not going to go too crazy on this, I don't think. But I think I'm just going to go with the uh, Jester kick, I think it is. And then, I believe the bad guy I've put up to fight against Santa also has an explosive death. So we're going to add Santa having an explosive death as well, just to make it a little bit more fun. But yeah, there's a pirate kick or the jester kick. Now, I don't really know which one I'm going to go with, but I think the jester kick's more realistic. So, as it is totally accurate battle simulator, so let's go with that one just so that it doesn't get too crazy in here. So, where is that one? All right, there it is. So, I don't think there's many weapons that are Santa-like. Uh, I think there's a cane. So, we might be able to use that and maybe we can colour it and it kind of looks like a candy cane because I don't think there is a no there's a there's no candy canes or anything like that that we can use so let's go with the cane itself and yeah here we go let's change the color let's stick it as a red I think that's a good start anyway I think that works and it gives him some sort of combat weapon otherwise he's going to be pretty useless I don't really want him with like a bazooka or something even though that is very tempting Right, moving on to the head. Now, I believe there is something in here called a Santa hat. So there is a Santa hat, uh, but it's not overly fancy. I'm wondering if there's a... Yeah, see, I saw this before, and it's called a holiday hat. And it kind of looks like if I change that to red, it's going to be a lot more Santa-y than the other one. Okay, yeah, definitely. That is what I'm going to stick with. So, start off with the hat. Now, obviously, we need that big Santa beard. 
Now, I don't know what beard's going to look good for Santa. There is, obviously, these ancient beards, but they're not really... That one, Zeus's beard might be big enough, but I'm almost thinking we want bigger. We definitely want bigger than Zeus's beard. So, where... Oh, that's a pretty good beard. Is there one without the band in it, though? Because I don't think Santa ever had a band. So, let's have a look. Ah, uh, here we go. The perfect beard. I think that one works really well. Make sure we change it to white, because it 100% needs to be white. That is, I think, Santa. As santa -y as we're going to get, especially for, uh, for tabs, anyway. So, let's move on to the torso. I'm thinking we want some sort of jacket or coat. Uh... Uh, that's pretty close to what I'm maybe after. But I want a little bit more fancy than that. So, let's see if there's a... Uh, no, definitely not the uh, Legacy shirt there. But let's see if there's anything else that kind of matches what I'm after here. Okay, this pirate coat might be what I'm after here. If I change the red just to make it a little bit more matching with everything else... And change this brownie colour. Maybe it's like a gold. Is that gonna... Is that gonna work? Uh, gold or, or white? I reckon white, actually. Let, let's, let's go with white, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that is... That's what we're after. We now need to cover up, obviously, the inside bit. If there's like a belt of some kind, I think that'll look good. I hope we could get about maybe round the coat. But we'll, we'll, we'll have a look and see what they've got. Uh... So this was a pirate jacket. So I'm wondering maybe the pirates will have a belt that goes on. No, it doesn't have a belt that goes on over the top, which is a bit of a shame. Santa with some bombs. That's uh, it's maybe not going to work exactly right. Maybe this pirate belt. It comes out the front, but doesn't really go round. But I think if we colour the buckle gold, I think it's going to give at least the impression of what we're, what we're going for here. I want like a proper gold. Yeah, there we go. That, that works. And now we need to make sure the inside's covered up, so let me just find a, a normal shirt probably to go underneath. Yeah, there we go. Alright, sweet. I think the, the belt looks good as well with that. Alright, now moving on to the trousers or the legs. So, I kind of want something fancy. Like, I'm tempted by something like this. Like, something a little bit more interesting than just, just some trousers. Uh... Oh, oh, uh, I don't know if it's bad having Vlad the Impaler as Santa, but they're kind of working for me, you know? Maybe I change the the boots to like a brown and maybe that to a white. Oh yeah, that is, uh, that's looking good. I like it. All right, okay. I think that's pretty much our Santa. I don't... I don't know if there's anything more I really want to add. I definitely want him to make a little bit bigger. So I definitely want him a bit taller. But I'm pretty happy. I, I don't know about you guys, but that, that looks like Santa to me. All right, let's, uh, again, I'll do the stats so you guys can't see it. So it's a bit of a surprise, but I'll match them up closely to the enemy that I've already created for him. And then we can get into the fight. So I'll set that up now. So here is Santa, he is out to defend Christmas. Now you might be thinking, why is Santa out to defend Christmas? Well, Christmas' biggest enemy is here. So it's the Grinch. Now, unfortunately, this was meant to be a red jacket on the Grinch. For some reason, every time I load it in, it loads in as blue. So we're going to take it. Uh, I can't seem to fix it. So you've got a Grinch with a blue jacket on. He's even extra anti-Christmas. But there we go. So he's pretending to be Santa. And he's here, you might see in the bottom right here, with his buddy, Max. Max is down here. Now the reason Max is wearing a little cape is to not be Super Dog, is to differentiate himself from the Grinch's secret weapon. The Grinch's secret weapon is he's been able to clone Max. Now he's been able to clone Max many, many times. Like a lot. So there's now... Hundreds of Maxes. So defending Santa today, we have another army. The army of elves, obviously. So you've got a vast array of 
slightly taller elves and slightly shorter elves. And alongside Santa, we have a few of his reindeer out to help him. Now these reindeer, I'll be honest, I'm not very proud of them. They kind of look like bird antler creatures, but they do the job. So I hope you guys like this anyway. Let's get into this fight. We've got Santa with his Christmas tree formation. And the Grinch with a slightly different formation. Uh, don't know what it says. Let me know in the comments if you can work it out. But anyway, let's get into this fight. Now, my PC is going to lag a little bit if I don't go in slow motion. There's quite a few different characters here. However, it doesn't seem like Max wants to... Uh, all the Max clones, they're a little bit faulty, unfortunately. Uh, oh, also the elves. I don't... Th this wasn't meant to happen. Okay, well, it might be even after this. So you might have seen that potion explosion there. That is because the Grinch is firing anti-Christmas bombs. They're going to make the elves turn, forget about Christmas. And you've already got Max in here having a nibble on this elf. Oh god, it's a massacre out here. <gasps> so that there, that is the reindeer special ability. He can charge in and take out a hell of a lot of these Max clones. But I think he's going straight for the Grinch out here. He's going to head straight over to him. So they've managed to already get to the back line of Maxes. Father Christmas looking on. I think he's rearing his troops on. It looks like they're winning so far. But the Grinch is still up. There's one elf over here. Oh! I was going to say, try to take on the Grinch. That was not a good, good idea at all. And, uh... Oh, uh... Yeah, I think he's forgot what Christmas is all about. Uh, he's also decided to sink into the ice. This is a pretty fair fight out here. Uh, I think all the reindeer are down, other than one. And Santa is currently taking on a load of these Max clones, along with these elves. There's a Max clone here. Oh, that bite is uh not very not very nice at all. God, he's having a he's having a good old munch on him there. Whoa. Okay, Santa is uh going at it on these little Max clones. The elves don't seem to be doing too well against the Max clones here. He's, he's actually running away. That's actually uh that's such a pretty scary sight. Oh god, look at all the Max clones in the background. They're coming for him. Oh god. Wait. Wait, is Santa down? Uh, oh god. Guys. Guys, Santa's down. What was that? Oh, that's Santa's explosion. Guys. Uh, uh, we're not going to be able to rescue Christmas here. The Grinch and his minions. They were just too powerful. That is the last anti-Christmas bomb, I think. Oh god. Oh god. The Grinch has successfully stolen Christmas. He's taken out Santa. The last elf. You fought valiantly, my friend. However, it was not good enough to defeat the Grinch. Okay. That was one hell of a fight. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today, guys, and if you did, don't forget to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And Merry Christmas to you all, and I'll see you in the next one.